so in this video today we are going to discuss the <coughs> car wash application so this car wash mobile app it's a pwa application it's been built over angular pwa with the firebase on the backend side to support the database kind of uh, thing so i have developed this application with angular firebase so this application is built for the purpose of netlify and hash node hackathon over the dev.2 platform so in this video i will going to uh, introduce this application real life scenario then after i will going to give a brief demo for the two user roles so one is for the admin user role and second is for the normal user so the first of all uh, the real life scenario for this application is if you are going to uh, if you are going to buy services for your car wash or detailing car wash services so this application is for you so uh, the real life scenario is if you are having with a vehicle or motor car so if you are going to book the slot for your uh, service uh, if 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 you don't want to go outside if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to stand up in the lines for the uh, car wash services so you only have to create a service request in this application and uh, a detailer will visit you at your home and it, they will provide you the uh, car detailing services for your cars either your car is for any of the category uh, there are multiple categories which are being supported by this application so either your car is normal sedan suv or cruiser type so all of the categories are being covered in this application so this is how the uh, real life scenario consists of this application features and apart from that now on the second step i will have to introduce you or giving a going through on the admin role how admin can create categories and how admin can add uh, certain features in the multiple categories so uh, and how admin can hire detailers and create the profiles for the detailers so in this admin role we are going to cover all these aspects so now in the top bar on the right side if i'm been clicking if, if i will be clicking on this uh, sign in icon so in this i will be navigating to the login screen so now in my case i have my login credentials for the admin so if you guys are uh, if, if if you guys are opening this application on the very uh, first step so you have to sign up for access the application right so now on the uh, after the login button if you can see there is a don't have an account sign up option <clears throat> so if you can if you can click on this sign up so the sign up form will be appear here right so you have to sign up with your account and then after you can successfully logged in so i have an account so there is an option of have an account so i've been going on this uh, sign up button right so if i will be clicking on here so i have uh, i have my admin credentials so i've been logged in that admin credentials here so once I will be logging in, so my application will be going to successfully navigate over the home page. So now if I will be clicking on this uh, menu, so in this top side menu, there is a beautiful gradient contents side menu. So in this, I will be going to take a look on my uh, account email, which has been coming over <clears throat> above. So after that, there are multiple uh, other uh, multiple other modules and features which are being developed for the admin role so since this uh, the first session which i will be covering up now so it's for the admin role so now we can take a look on these features step by step so the first of all we are going to take a look on the we, we, we are going to covering up this categories section which is being coming over the home page so at this moment it's been empty so if i've been clicking on the all categories button all categories option so this feature will also be empty because there are no categories in the database right now so what ca what admin can do is admin can click on add category so here admin can <coughs> click on this category option like okay uh, I, I i've been now going to create a category so if if user can click on that 
button so user can normally be in easily uh, storage for the uh, storage for the categories which they want to create so the first of all if user want to create a cruiser category so there is a cruiser image at the moment which i've been selected from my macbook so this cruiser is a category right so this cruiser image is being uploaded so i am giving up the name of my category as a cruiser right so if i am been clicking on this add category button so you can take a look on this cruiser so cruiser category is created here right so if i want to edit that category so i've been click on that edit icon otherwise if i want to delete on this th this category so i will have to click on that delete icon so these are the admin controls for creating the categories so now <clears throat> After creating that category, if you can click on your home page, so you can take a look on this how uh, cruiser category is being started appearing on your uh, on your home page. So let's go on uh, add category and let's create a few other categories. So if I've been creating a category of mini van, so I've also been uploaded the image of mini van here, and I'm clicking on this. So again, if I'm going to add category, I, ha I have certain uh, categories which I have been to cover up here. So let's create those first. Then after we will take a look on the other section of uh, creating of packages inside every category. So I will going to give you a go through on that. There are three now and one more to go. So let's uh, create one more so after pickup i have one more suv and after suv i have another category of sedan so let's create those first now three and then after if i will be clicking on add category and i'm going to select an image of uh, sedan here so okay so after clicking on that sedan so if you can see on the admin side we have these five categories which admin had just created so all right so inside now all categories this listing is coming over and if i'm going to home page so it's been a scrollable beautiful section for uh this these categories which which, which are being coming over uh here right so now for every <clears throat> now if i'm clicking on any of the categories so at the below side featured packages will be uh filtered out but at this moment uh, there are no any featured packages so that's what actually we are unable to see the packages up here okay so now the categories section are being finished over and we have taken a look on how categories are being uh, being created by admin and how they are reflected over the home page so if I'm going to uh, click on this service request plus icon, uh, like the plus button, float button at the bottom right. So if I've been clicking over here and I'm adding a sample uh, sample location here, so you can see these categories are, uh, this is actually a reusable component uh, built over Angular. So that's being used over home page and certain other locations as well. So now on the second step, we are going to take a look on how admin can create multiple packages. So if you can see all packages screen, so there are no packages at the moment because we don't have any package in the database right now. But if you are going to create an add package, so <clears throat> inside that package, if now if I want to create a package, so I have certain images, I have been uh, designed over Figma. So uh, now if I will be selecting a silver package, so I'm naming I'm naming that uh, package as a silver package here uh, at the silver package uh, in the package name and after that <coughs> after that if I'm going to uh, if I'm going to create a package price now assume that uh, my package now package prices are actually being consist over the categories right so if you can click on uh if you can click on this categories drop down so it it it's it it can says uh it says mini man sedan so these are actually the categories which we have uh created in the 
admin uh, on on the admin uh, just before so because i am recording this video on my macbook so that's what it's been it's it's consist of some lags here so it's been showing up the drop down above so okay no worries for that so if i if i've been selecting this uh this sedan so in, inside that sedan i can say okay i will charge you uh, around 1000 pkr or 1500 pkr for this sedan uh, service for the silver package like normal package so i will be charging you 1500 right so if i'm clicking on this ad package so this package is being created on the admin side so if I'm going to add a package for some like we can say bronze and okay. So we can say like <clears throat> if I'm going to create a platinum. If I'm going to create a platinum package for some other categories. So if I'm going to click on this cruiser. So these uh, these values are coming from our database. We have just created for the categories, right? so if i'm going to say like okay the platinum package for this is around five thousands so if you can create a, a package here so these two packages are being created so let's create another package for the bronze package okay so i can say like it's been for four thousands and the category is for the sedan again so i'm clicking on that <clears throat> now these three uh, packages are being uh being strictly uh, like these three packages are being connected with those uh categories we have selected in that so these this package can say like okay this is a platinum package for cruiser category and this is a bronze package for sedan category and this is a silver package for sedan so now if i'm going on the home page so these packages are being reflected over my home page so you can see now now <clears throat> now if i'm uh, if i will be clicking on <clears throat> if i will be clicking on this sedan so these two packages will be filtered out automatically so this is how the filtration work performed so if I'm clicking on minivan, so there are no featured packages. And if I'm clicking on sedan, so sedan packages are coming from database. So we have created two packages in the inside the category of sedan. So that's what there are two packages are coming over. So if I'm clicking on this cruiser, so inside that cruiser, we have created one featured one package. So it's been coming up over here. So inside that sedan, if I'm going to see the details for this package, so if I will be clicking on this package, so this will be showing up here like what kind of uh, what kind of features uh, this uh, silver package will consist of and all kind of stuff like that. So if, if I will be going to like I'm an admin, right? So I, I, I am an admin, so I will be unable to create a service at this moment. But for the testing purposes, I have been I have opened that service request for now because I have been developing this application. So right so these two things are covered up in this video like how admin can create categories and how admin can create packages and bind those packages with the certain categories so if if, if we don't select if, if we don't select any of these categories so automatically all all of the categories will coming over and all kind of featured packages can show like okay this package belongs to cruiser category this package belongs to sedan if you want to perform some filtration part, you have to select any of the uh, categories. So inside those categories, you can take a look on those uh, packages, right? So on the uh, on, on the third step, like uh, how like assume that uh, you have uh, you have booked a service and then after that service, like how you can uh, like how that detailing will be going to perform from the application side. So once you will be going to create uh, like assume that now <coughs> assume that now i'm an admin and uh, like these two categories and feature packages are covered over so now we are going to take a look on like how detailer will come how detailer will come uh, across in this application so assume that i have hired a detailer 
uh, from any of the location i don't have to worry about that but now i want to create a detailer right so we don't have if, if if i'm going in the all detailer section so we don't have any detailers at the moment right so now but we are if, if we are going to uh, click on add detailer so from here we can create a detailer right <clears throat> Right, so if I'm going to like assume that I have I have given a name of that uh, John, okay, John B. So uh, now I want to create a detailer. I have hired the detailer and I have the uh, details for that uh, detailer. So if I'm going to create a detailer over here as an admin, so I will be clicking over those information here and a password from for the detailer right now if i'm going to create a detailer from here so detailer profile will be created automatically as an admin right so if i'm going to click on that uh, detailer so as an admin i can update their profile as well so <clears throat> i can update their profile as well right so this is how the this is how the uh, detailers can coming up over here so now if we are going to take uh, we have covered over three sections of the uh, application one is for creating categories packages and detailers from the admin side now uh, we are going to take a look on service request like how user can book uh, how user can book their service request and how admin can assign a detailer to the service request so this is a very main feature of this application like uh, let's open uh, let's let's uh, sign out this uh, admin role account and let's log in the uh, normal user account which we have so we have uh, inside those uh, from this home page if i'm going to take a look on this uh, category so it's being showing up here as a categories and featured packages so assume that i have a sedan car type so if i'm being selected on this sedan so it's been showing up the associated packages here so if i want to purchase this silver package so inside that silver package it been showing up like what type of uh, what type of uh, things I will be have to achieve from the detailer. So now if I'm selecting that, so it will be asking for my location. So I'm adding my sample location here. So, uh, but this application is been already uh, developed and finish, finished out. So I'm planning to add a Google map integration here. So this location will be directly connected with Google maps. And after this next button, we will have a uh, Google maps here. So for now it's been missing over so i'm currently working on it so after adding that uh, sample location if i'm going to next so i will have to select one category and one package associated with this service request so now assume that i have uh, if, if i will be selecting this any of the category so this has been a reusable component it's been developed on angular as i already said so it's been used on multiple pages like these categories and featured packages so these two reusable components are used over our home page and inside the service request as well so it it's pretty clean and clear so after selecting this sedan type i will have two associated packages so i'm now selecting a silver package in my order so now i will have to uh, add the uh, date and time for my service request so uh, as i already said i am recording this video from my macbook so uh, this calendar and time picker these are the native controls for the mac chrome so if you are looking this pw application on your iphone or your android so uh, very native controls will be at your screen so it's not been it's it's very user friendly so at this moment it's been breaking over because i am recording this on the mac right so if i'm selecting this uh as the 5 12 pm and after that i'm looking for a cash payment so <clears throat> this is how i have been added over the details for this my service request and i'm going to create a service request so this is being stored as a service request right so as my profile uh, this is my user role profile if you guys can see if i'm going to the profile so it's a user role profile right it's a user role profile 
so inside the home page uh, I have selected I have uh, booked a service request so if I'm going in my service request so it's been showing up like my service request this type so if I, if, if I will be going to check uh, like it's it's uh, it's showing my package which I have been purchased and my location and date and time like a schedule so this uh, on the very uh, top right you are looking a processing icon because it's not been assigned to a detailer right so you can see the details for this uh, order which i have been assigned uh, which, which which i have been uh, booked for the card detailing so in this status it's been showing up request received that means request received by admin right but on the other side at the last parameter it's been saying assigned detailer so no assigned detailer at the moment because admin have to assign this service request to a detailer now we will going to take a look on this this migration of uh, like this assigning uh, feature for this application <clears throat> the main this the, this is kind of a main feature for this application like user can come and user can book a service request for their vehicle and after that admin can assign those service requests to uh, consecutive uh, detailers who are being located at their locations right so now i am signing out this profile so but uh, i am not signing out but let's open uh, another browser to take a look on it so again i am opening the I'm opening in other uh, incognito, but it's not working over because I have been opened that. So let's give me a second, guys. So I want to I, I want to open two instances. Uh, like this is a user role which is currently being opened in my screen. So in other user role which I've been, I want to open that. So. This is being opened at the instance. So let's take a look on it, right? So now <clears throat> if you can see no user account is being logged in up here. So let's log in with the admin credentials to see like how uh, if user have my, my profile user, I've been created a user. So now logged in with the admin account. So this is the admin account, right? so if i'm been opening the side menu it says if i'm going to the profile so it says this is an admin account so from this admin if i'm going into the service request so you can see this service request came over to admin now admin if you can see it says request received so this is an admin account so admin is looking over this uh, this service request now admin have an option to select a detailer to add a detailer to this service request so if admin can click over this uh, select detailer, so the detailers are coming from database. If you can, rem if, if, if you are remembering, uh, if, if you remember we have added a detailer with John Bing name earlier. So if I'm clicking on the select detailer, it's been coming from database, John Bing. So admin is now assigning this service request to a John Bing detailer whose responsibility is to visit the uh, user home and to provide the detailing services. Now as an admin, I'm assigning this uh, detailing service to a certain detailer. <clears throat> so if I'm clicking on this now, so this service request says it's this request is being assigned to John Bing. So this is the uh, this is the admin role. So it's been showing up the admin uh, things. So now if we are going to take a look on the uh user so now if i'm opening this now this is the user profile if you can see this is this is the user role profile so if i'm going to the service request inside this service request it's now been assigned to a detailer if you can see john bing is being assigned <clears throat> for this detailing services right now there is a third role which i've been opened like their user have created their service request admin had assigned that service request to a detailer right now 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 the work is for detailer to visit their home now let's open that detailer profile now so to take a look on it right so let's open another instance for the 
detailer so right so let's take a look on it okay So now, okay, uh, let's let's sign out from the admin role and let's open the detailer account. So I have been created a John Bing address email. Uh, it's been it's been a location. Uh, it's been a credentials for my detailer, right? So if I'm opening the uh, detailer user role, so if I'm been going into the profile, so it says it's a detailer profile, right? So from this detailer, if I'm going to see a service request, so these service requests are being assigned to John Bing. So these controls will be only accessible for John Bing. So John Bing is a detailer. Admin had assigned a service request to John Bing and John Bing is, John Bing is on the way. John Bing have to reach at the destination of that user. So now, uh, after after uh, after reaching at the destination for that user avast, so <coughs> sorry, John had to mark the status arrived at destination. So now, if you like, if John Bing is reached and John Bing had clicked re arrived at destination. So if you can see up here now, John Bing is like what this status is showing over if you are going to the service request now service request says in form of status if you can see it says arrived at destination so that means service is in the progress so now assume that a service is done from john bing so john bing have to mark their uh, service as done now assume that a service is done and uh, John Bing had marked their services as done. Like, okay, I have I have done my services. So now if you can see the status, status is service done. Now the third status for this uh, service request is to receive a payment from that user. Now Avace is responsible to give a payment to the, uh, to the uh, detailer. Now let's open the Avace profile. From another instance so always if if I'm reloading this uh, service request so inside that service request it says services are being done already right so let's open the uh, detailer profile again so inside the detailer assume that always had uh, provided the uh, selected amount to the detailer so detailer had to mark the status like okay I have received my payment so once that payment is received, so you can see the service request is marked as green check on the top right. So if I'm opening that, so it's been it's it's uh, saying like status is payment received and at the below after assigned detailer section, the status is saying like completed request, right? So this is how the service request is being completed. Let's open the uh, let's open the user instance now. So if I'm opening that user instance now, so user is also user, uh, this is a user profile, is my profile. So if you can go into the service request, so inside that service request, it says payment received. Now, if you want to report the, if you want to report the detailer or other kind of instances, so this, there is an option of need help. So it's been a native option for calling, uh, calling your admin or calling your uh, detailing services provider as a car wash currently so you have to contact them for that but uh, we have to create another module for that uh, feature as well so at this at, at this moment because this application had a lot of features as I have been covered up in these in this video so uh, as the time constraint and as the hackathon so I have been covered all of the uh, all of the things so uh, this is all about this car uh, car detailing services so in this video we have covered all the aspects for creating the categories creating the packages associated with those categories and uh, like for, for the admin side they are and from the user side user have to create their uh, to initiate the service request and after that admin have to assign those service requests to detailers and detailers have to visit and perform their services and receive the payments so this is how the real life scenario for this application covered up uh, covered all the aspects so 
the purpose of uh, recording this video is to uh, to sharing the insights for like how I have been uh, developed this application uh, for the uh, Netlify and Hashnode Hackathon. So hope you guys will loving this. Uh, now I have to deploy this application over the Netlify and I will have to write a brief detailed document or article, take article over dev.2 uh, or, or sorry not dev.2 but a Hashnode uh, hash node instance uh, on the hash node uh, platform so i will be writing out the uh, article and you will you, I, I will share out the url in my youtube video so hope you guys will love this application so the purpose of this application is only to uh, participate in the hash node and netlify hackathon so yeah this is all so hope you guys will uh, love this application thank you so much for watching